Hey guys, what's up? This is Raul and welcome to my new video. So right now, I woke up, right? And there was people parked in front of my house. It was just like one truck, right? But it was like, those people outside. So I got up and I'm like, just cause my dad started working, there's no cars like in front of the, in front of the house or anything like that. I was like, just cause someone started working and there's no cars in front of the house, doesn't mean you can park there. By the way, my dad is taking my, my dog today, sadly. He said he's selling it. I'm like, nigga, where's the money at? Nigga said, just cause I never bought food for it, which I did for a little while. He offered the food, bro. Just cause he offered the food doesn't mean, oh, okay, it's mine now. If you have a car and I offer to do all the change-ups, all the oil changes, basically all the maintenance, doesn't mean it's my car now. If you offered it, that's on you, not on me, so you better relax, bro. But I doubt it, he's gonna sell it, I mean, I bought it for 20 bucks, usually the older they get, the cheaper they are. She definitely was worth a lot more than 20 bucks, she was really cool. I don't want him to sell it, just because of the fact that, I feel like a dog brings your family together. But not the way he has it. He has her tied up, doesn't let her do anything. She's not maintained. He has zero patience. I told him, obviously now she's too old, but back in the day I was like, we can train her. She could be potty trained. Like, I don't know if you know, bro, but dogs can be potty trained. We seen at the Clipper game, the dog can do like a bunch of like tricks. Obviously dogs can be trained to do stuff. She can be potty trained. She can be trained to not go on the couch, to be chill. You just gotta be patient with them. And that's another thing. I feel like a dog teaches you patience. Obviously he has zero and it's not my house. I can't be like, nah, bro, we're keeping it. But there's really nothing I can do about it. If I give it to a cousin or an uncle, which we thought we were going to, um, I have a cousin that lives in, I think it's either Moreno Valley or Victor, I keep forgetting. We might give it to them, I think. That way we can go and visit her. Oh, and actually we might give it to my neighbor. So that's even, you know, that's cool too. Cause literally it's like right next door. I could just go visit her. I don't know if you guys can see, but right now she's just laying there. She's just chilling right now. She looks dead, to be honest. But if she doesn't wake up within like an hour or two, I'll probably go check up on her. She usually sleeps over there in the white book. I don't know why she's dead ass in the middle. Oh, there it is. Never mind, a bug was in the ear and she moved her ear. Thought she was dead. Oh, she's lifting her palm right now. <laughs> she's stretching. But yeah, that's that for now. Um, I just woke up. I'm about to start editing right now. I lagged it yesterday, to be honest. I was really, really tired. I'm gonna try to get the video by 6 today. That's what I want my uploading time to be, like around 6. That way, whatever you're doing, like, you just know 6. Oh, bro, uploaded. Oh, and Liam Ping just uploaded a video four hours ago. But yeah, I'm gonna upload like around 6 and see how that goes. I'm gonna try though, head ass. Because I'd be forgetting sometimes. Or sometimes I'm at work. So either way, I'd be uploading the video earlier and then I just set it to schedule around 6. I'm watching this movie, right? It's called Zoolander. It was released like a long time ago. 2001, I think. It's funny because it's true. It's supposed to be like a fashion movie or something like that. It's like a funny fashion movie. But like I said, it's true. Because there's a, a part where the guy says the future of fashion. And it's just a homeless dude. And that nigga says this is the future of fashion. I mean, it's a little bit extreme. It's dead ass a homeless guy carrying like uh, those little carts full of stuff. If you guys seen uh, the Yeezy fashion show, they all look like homeless people. It's the look, bro. Obviously, you're not going to be carrying a cart around. Dead ass. I'll probably put a picture up right now. I was playing GTA. I was watching a video because I was trying to earn money. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be rich on GTA. I'm trying to buy this car. I forgot what it was called, but there was this car that you had to use for submission, and that car was badass. I'm not gonna lie, but I want it to be mine. You know, it was some guys. He let you borrow it, and then you just race somebody. All in all, though, I want that car. So I was looking up how to be rich, and then this nigga hit me with the spoiler, bro. And that nigga didn't say spoiler alert or nothing like that. That nigga just said it. I'm like, really, nigga? Talking about GTA 5, it reminds me, like, of movies. And I want to go watch Thor Ragnarok. I haven't gone to see it. I'll probably go watch it this weekend. Y'all know me. Marvel movies is a must. I'm waiting for Infinity Warfare. Why do I keep saying that? I'm waiting for Infinity War. Oh, I seen a trailer. It was a leaked trailer. It was up for, like, five minutes, and they deleted it. It looks really, really good. So, I'm hoping to see it. I think it's released next year. Like, in May? Oh, man. Oh, man. I have a problem. Well, first of all, I don't like the light in here. It has me like half night, half day, whatever. I feel like I seek validation from people. For example, this lens cap, I can be like, I like it, right? But then I'll second guess, like, is that what people like? I know it's good sometimes, but I do it a little too often. I need to stop seeking validation from people. With my vlogs right now, honestly, right now, I'm wearing a shirt because 
for you guys. Honestly, when I'm at home and I'm not doing anything, I don't feel like wearing a shirt. But some of you guys don't like it. I'm pretty sure you don't want to see like a shirtless man talking. And then my other side is like, bro, you're trying to grow your channel, aren't you? You're trying to grow your channel. You got to wear what you got to wear. The next stage of my vlogs, what would it be? Chapter three? It's like a 60% chance right now that I'm gonna go to fit him. Hopefully it gets higher though. I'm gonna start Chafee probably January. But with this next step of me going to fit him, that's another stage right there. Bro, if I go to fit him, mm. I'm gonna try. But yeah, that's that's the end of my little my little venting. Today's day did not go to waste. It's been so helpful and so like life meaningful, you know. It's been fulfilling. I've been playing GTA, I've been learning how to steal cars, how to how to do a heist, how to organize, how to be a leader. That's what I've been doing all day. Learning, learning how to drive, how to pilot a plane. Today's day did not go to waste. I did not just play for like five hours straight. Nah, on the real note though, can't wait till they go to school. Chafee or fit them, I don't care, I can't wait. I don't know if y'all can see, but there's a couple supercars up there. So basically what I gotta do is I gotta keep the cop out of the truck. That don't make no sense to me. This mission's hard. So basically there's cops following the trucks, but I have to follow the truck too, and I have to keep the cops away. I'm like, bro, how do you, how? I don't know, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I'm tempted to just YouTube it and just be like, bro. That's usually what I do when I can't pass a mission. Like earlier, I couldn't pass a mission and I'm just like, bro, I'm a YouTube. With Liddy with them cinnamon, low key, Lonzo Ball, his rap game, and he knows this because I told him. Lonzo Ball in 6 5. What the? His rap game is dope, bro. I remember when he first dropped that song. Which one was it? I think it was Strav Mode. So we already know if he doesn't make it in the NBA. If he's a bust, which I don't think he's a bust. I just think he's a late bloomer. He's a progressor. He's gonna be good, but he's gonna stay good. All these ballers that are good right away, they ain't gonna be that good a year, two years from now. He has to stop dropping singles though. He has to drop an actual album. Probably after like the first season. When they start season two of Ball in the Family, I think around that time he's gonna drop his album. But yeah, after this talk though, I'm gonna play some GTA and go to sleep and then we'll see where it goes from there. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.